Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you. All right, guys. Well, today we're in the middle of our week. Do you guys remember what day that is? Do you remember Penny Dog? Let's sing the days of the week and find out what the middle of our week is. All right, guys. So, Sunday, Monday. One, two, three, four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, guys, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. It's so exciting. Well, let's take a look at our Every Day's a Holiday calendar. Today is National Underwear Day. How funny is that? Well, I thought we'd go back to this calendar for crossing off the days because it's a little easier to understand. Oh, Penny doesn't like that we're going back to this calendar, but we are. Well, so today is Wednesday the 5th. So we'll put a little smiley face right there and we'll count one, two, three, four, five. Today is Wednesday the 5th. And Wednesday is a great day for some rock and roll monkeys. So here's Mr. Josh. Hi everybody, Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock of the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing a very fun song we're doing five little monkeys jumping on the bed, but we're gonna do a rock and roll version. Just how I like it. All right, you guys ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mom comes back and ran the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. guys, I hope you liked Mr. Josh and his rock and roll monkeys because now it's time for me and my little monkey climbing up a tree. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came the coconut and hit him on the knee. Out came the lion with the mighty roar and the itsy bitsy monkey I hope you guys liked that. I love that itsy bitsy monkey. The coconut comes boop right on the knee and then he still climbs up the tree again. Well, 
I think it's time for another song about monkeys. Maybe some monkeys teasing Mr. Crocodile? <laughs> Here's Mr. Josh. The five little monkeys in the tree? Yeah! Okay, let's do that one. Yeah. Five little monkeys sitting in the tree. Five little monkeys teasing Mr. Crocodile. Can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. And yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now we got four little monkeys. Four little monkeys sitting in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. <laughs> Alright. Three little monkeys sitting in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. <laughs> Two monkeys left. Uh, 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 Mr. Riley! Mr. Riley! Teasing Mr. Crocodile can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. <laughs> More! Last one! One little monkey sitting in the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. <laughs> you know, now I got. I can't stop thinking about monkeys now. I'm gonna do another monkey song. I'm gonna do five. All right, guys. Well, that was three songs about monkeys. So I think it's time for a story. So here's Miss Adela with a story for you. Once there was a peddler who sold cats, but he was not like any ordinary peddler. Carrying his wares on his back, he carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own tech cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. And he went along, as he went along, he called, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cent a cap. Then one morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up and down the street, calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cats. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and then on the very top, the red caps. They were all there. All these caps were there. So he went to sleep. He slept for a very long time. Yeah, he was very tired. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own check cap. What happened to his other caps, guys? What do you think? I know. I yeah. got the tree. Yeah. He looked up to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked to the back of him, no caps. He looked up in the tree, no caps. Then he looked up 
And what do you think he saw? Well, on every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, a brown, a blue, and a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and said, By this time, the peddler was really, really very angry. He stomped all his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and said, At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it to the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps, put them on his head, first his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! The end. Those are some silly monkeys, weren't they? No, we got all our colors, right? Oh my goodness! There were even monkeys in that story. And those monkeys were teasing that peddler. They took his caps and then they copied him. And luckily when he threw his cap on the ground, they threw his caps on the ground as well. Well, those monkeys might have been teasing that peddler, but let's check in with Miss Victoria. She's got a story about teasing. So here's Miss Victoria. All right. The Berenstain Bears and Too Much Teasing by Stan and Jan Berenstain. He's her own brother, but sister is pleased when the tables are turned and brother gets teased. Brother and sister agreed about the important things in life. They agreed that Christmas and Halloween were the two best holidays. They agreed that no school was better than school. They agreed that sweet potatoes were better than mashed potatoes. But there were some things they didn't agree on. Brother's favorite colors were red and blue. Sister's favorite colors were pink and more pink. Brother's favorite ice cream was chocolate. Sister's was pistachio. Brother liked spooky movies. Sister hated spooky movies. Um. Something else they didn't agree on was teasing. Brother liked teasing. He did it all the time. He thought it was fun. Sister did not like teasing. She thought it was mean and nasty. Mama talked to brother about teasing and how, bad, how it wasn't such a good idea. She talked to sister about not being so sensitive. Papa thought that too much fuss was being made about it all. Teasing is just part of life, isn't that right, Opie Snuffle? He said, tickling Mama under the chin. You know I don't like being called that, said Mama. Nor do I like being tickled under the chin. 
Brother Bear found out that both Papa and Mama were right. Teasing wasn't such a good idea, and it was part of life. He found out in a way he did not enjoy. One day at Bear Country School, something a little unusual happened. Mr. Honeycomb wants to see you in his office, Brother Bear, his teacher said. The class was a buzz. What had Brother done? Why did Mr. Honeycomb, the principal, want to see Brother in his office? Brother Bear was worried, but he needn't have been. Brother Bear said, Mr. Honeycomb, I need a special messenger to carry messages to different classrooms. Both your marks and behavior are excellent, and I have chosen you to be the special messenger. Report to me at the start of school each day, and I will give you the messages that you are to deliver. You may go back to class now. As you might have guessed, word about Brother's special job got around. Many cubs were a little jealous of Brother. Some cubs were a lot jealous. Too Tall Grizzly and his gang were the most jealous. It wasn't long before Brother was Brother Bear the Teaser began getting teased. He got teased in class. Brother Brother Teacher's pet. Now he is the principal's pet. He got teased in the schoolyard. Brother Brother is so good he does everything that he should. He got teased on the school bus. Brother, brother is so sweet, the sweetest cub you'll ever meet. He didn't like it. He didn't like it one bit. Now you know what it's like to get teased, said sister. Brother didn't say anything. There wasn't much he could say. All the things that brother, the teaser had said about teasing were now being said to him. It's all in fun, just ignore it, don't be so sensitive. He got so angry that he was almost going to fight Tutal and his gang, even though they were bigger than he was. But if he did that, he would lose his special job and just be in worse trouble. Oh, he said one morning, I have a stomach ache. I don't think I can go to school today. Perhaps you have a 24-hour virus, said Mama. Sister, will you please get the thermometer? Yes, Mama, said Sister, but I don't think Brother has a 24-hour virus, or a 48-hour virus, or a 72-hour virus. I think what Brother has is the teasing virus, hmm, said Mama, taking the thermometer from his mouth. Temperature's normal. Finish your breakfast, Cubs. The school bus will be here any minute. As the bus got closer and closer to school, Brother got more and more worried. He knew exactly what was waiting for him. Too Tall and his gang would tease him in the hall, in the auditorium, and in the lunchroom. But he was wrong. He was wrong because something wonderful had happened. There was a new cub at Bear Country School, a big oversized cub with hay in his fur and a big baggy overalls with patches. His name was Milton Chubb. He wore little round glasses and a little smile on his big round face. Wow, thought Brother. What a relief. Tutal and his gang were looking at Milton the way a pack of wolves look at a plump chicken. Brother just knew they would tease the new cub. If they did, he thought, maybe, just maybe, they'll forget about teasing me. That's exactly what happened. They teased Milton on the soccer field when he kicked the ball into the wrong goal and scored for the other team. Massive Milton is his name. Soccer's, soccer's not his game. They teased him on the basketball court where he dribbled the ball off his foot. They teased him in the baseball field where he missed a fly ball. He says his name is Milton Chubb, but we call him flub -dub. Milton, Milton, watch him go. Watch him dribble off his toe. Hey, Milton, said Tootall, what is your game? Is it tiddlywinks or hopscotch? Or that's when Brother Bear forgot about being happy that he wasn't the one being teased and he stuck up for the new cub. Tootall, he said, why don't you let him alone? He's not bothering you. Well, la dee da, said Tootall, the principal's pet is sticking up for massive Milton. Come on, Milton, said Brother, let's get away from these teasers. Where do you live? On Farmer Ben's farm. My mom and dad are Farmer Ben's new hired bears. Hey, said brother, 
That means we're neighbors. I live in the big tree house that's just down the road. That day after school, brother and sister bear visited Milton on Farmer Ben's farm. Milton may not have known much about soccer, baseball, and basketball, but he knew quite a bit about farming. He was very good at pitching hay. That's why he always had some in his fur. He was such a good milker that he could squirt some milk right into the barn cat's mouth. And he knew how to feed sugar cube to a horse without getting its fingers bitten. Milton said, brother, you don't play soccer or baseball or basketball. What is your game? Wrestling, said Milton. Wrestling, said sister. Oh, you mean wrestling. Just then, one of Farmer Ben's pigs got out of the pig pen. Excuse me, Milton, said Milton. The pig never had a chance. Milton just sort of fell on him, and then he wrestled him back into the pen. Hmm, thought brother. The next morning, the principal's special messenger took a message to the gym and gave it to the coach. But the message wasn't from the principal. Hmm, said the coach when he read it. When the Cubs came to gym class later that day, they were surprised to see that Milton was already there. He was dressed in a wrestling tights, and the coach held several more pairs. Cubs, announced the coach. We are going to organize a wrestling team. Perhaps later we will join the Bear Country Interscholastic Wrestling League. Too tall, you and the gang get into these tights. Let's see what you can do against Milton. Do you have a favorite hold, Milton? Well, Too tall and the gang were getting ready. Yes, said Milton. It's called the pancake. Ready? Wrestle, said the coach. Too tall came at Milton fast and slow, but it really didn't matter. Milton just sort of fell on him. Oof, said Too tall. Milton made short work of the rest of the gang, too. There were three pancakes followed by three oofs. Bear Country School joined the wrestling league. The team did pretty well, especially Milton, who won all the matches. Brother and sister came to all the matches to cheer and led the cheering. Massive Milton is his name. Wrestling, wrestling is his game. Yay, Milton, Milton, Milton. Brother and sister still agreed about the important things in life, things like holidays, schools, and potatoes. But now there was one more thing they agreed about, teasing. They agreed that it is still a part of life, but it really isn't a very good idea. How great was that story? Brother and Sister Bear learned that teasing is not very kind and that even though it is something a lot of people have to deal with, it's not a good thing. Well, you know what a good thing is though? A good thing is another song from Mr. Josh. So here is I Will Get Back Up Again. Okay. <laughs> Looking up at a sunny sky, so shiny and blue, and there's a butterfly. Well, isn't that a super fantastic sign? It's gonna be a fantastic day. Such marvelousness I'm gonna bring. You got a pocket full of songs that I'm gonna sing. I'm ready to take on anything. Hooray! Some super fun surprise around each corner. Just riding on a rainbow is gonna be okay. Hey! I'm not giving up today. I'm colder than a pack of peppermint And I haven't been this excited since I can't remember when I'm off on this remarkable adventure Just riding on a rainbow It's gonna be okay Hey! I'm not giving up today I'm not getting my way I'm not getting your way
you guys loved that song. I loved it too. Speaking of songs that I love, I love the song that goes, what's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? So let's check the window. All right, guys, it looks partly cloudy, mostly sunny, and like a great day to play outside. Just like yesterday afternoon after the storms cleared. All right, guys, it's time for me to actually head out. I can't wait to spend so much time outside playing. So here's one more song from Mr. Josh, and we'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Bye. Guys, it has been... It has been raining a lot these last few days, and I keep thinking, I wish the sun would just come and stay out. So I'm gonna do a song about the sun. You guys know what it is? It's the sun. Mr. Golden Sun. All right. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. All right. Wheels on.